hope you are all doing good so in today's session we are going to see how we can add multiple data entries in a table grid format as well as in model format and apart from that we will also see how we can add them in a repeating dynamic grid layout format and we'll also explore the out of the box add data and the delete data options and we'll also talk about the case reference and the query features that pega provides uh, when we select the fields at last so in today's use case we are going to capture the consignment detail for that we will be creating a separate case type and we'll also uh, create a data type and where we will be defining the fields like consignment number destination cost tracking and the shipping type so that's where we can you know manage all these details efficiently within the application and uh, we'll also see how you know case reference and the query will work so let's get started and so we'll be going to case type now we will be creating a new case type give the name as consignment details use standard template and next so now we can see case has been created let's go ahead and create the data type what will be the data type consignment detail Next. manually we will be adding summit okay so we'll be quickly adding the fields so we have added our details let's give the field in the primary field as well consignment number cost tracking status and shipping type so we have added all the four details submit save and let's quickly go to the case type again So we will skip the create and we will go ahead and create a new stage consignment details create a new process and go to the configure view we are going to create a new field consignment details and select the type as embedded data but we will select the option as a list of records and what data object we will be selecting consignment details and submit so let's click here now you can see the mode as the editable and display as table or repeating view right so we will first see how it forms un inside under the table now add and delete records option either in the form of model or table rows so let's first go with the table rows and we will gradually see how it will look like when we select the model option and columns so columns we have selected the primary field so what are all the primary field all the four fields which we have selected earlier now column to take up remaining width default okay these are all the you know conditions for editing deleting and adding now submit this save this let's quickly save and run 
now what are all the new things we can see here so we can see add consignment details right now if we click this what happens let's see now you can see whatever detail we want to fill it comes inside the table in a table format so let's give some details and give the currency and select the shipping type and tracking status okay let's again add one more now we can see the delete option as well so if we click this we won't seeing any data so you can see with the new option where we have selected the field as a list we can see the add option and the delete option now let's quickly go back to the case type and we will change the editing mode let's see what other modes we can give so we will give it as a model so you can see here right view for add and delete it will be create no it will be primary field submit save and run so now we can see right uh, what is the significance of giving the primary fields there so when we give the primary field in backend new uh, view created for the primary field as well so let's quickly see uh, the view as well but before let's see how we can see the data in the new format so if we click here you can see it in a form of model and now fill the details and submit similarly if you will give one more it will be like this now here you can edit or delete so when we select the model you will get the one more option as a edit now if we click here you can edit this for example if we select is as a 8 submit you will seeing the updated data we can delete it so uh, for edit add what uh, view we can uh, we are selecting it's a primary view so let's quickly go to the tab studio i will show you when whenever we have selected the you know primary field in the data type you will see we have a view as well rule ui view So here you can see py primary fields so this is the view for the primary fields which we have added right so you can see here consignment number integer currency then shipping type in form of drop down and tracking status in form of text right so we can validate also so how we can see that because we have um, enabled one when rule what is the when rule ex enable c11 tab right so let's quickly go back to the app studio again so we have seen how we can add the data in form of table and how we can uh, add the data in form of model and we also have seen that we have now out of the box add buttons 
and edit and delete button available. So earlier we were, you know, creating these with, you know, different logics and we were giving the sections and all. Now we have the option of search as well. Now here you can expand it. With this option, you can provide the different filters. Now we will be going back to the case type. Again, go to the consignment detail and go here, go to configure view. Now we will see how we can get this data in a repeating view. So record label source, okay, it will be constant. Record view, primary fields, submit. Now let's see. So if by default you want to show the first screen, we will select this option. Go back and go here to the consignment detail, configure view. This one, record view. If you want to show the by default first option, we will select this, okay? And go back, else we will not fill any details. So it will be just saying uh, first, fill the first detail. Save and run. Now you can see we have this view. If we click this, we will see the another view. So it's nothing but same as the repeating dynamic grid layout, which we were working with the earlier version of the Pega. Right. So select this and give this detail. So I'm not selecting here. So we have seen how we can get the data or fill the data in form of table model and a repeating grid layout. What left? Uh, okay, now we have created the new case type, right? So I will quickly talk about the case reference and the query, but I will suggest you all to implement this for a real uh, use case scenario. I will just explain what is the rule reference and what are all the other uh, other rules like query what did its use so if you go to the consignment detail suppose we have given the consignment like a case detail of a previous case you remember right in previous uh, sessions we were just giving the uh, shipping address customer details and uh, you know other uh, data so if you want to reuse that data from this case type to this case type, we create the case reference. So let's see, go to the data model and go to that field, get case data and select the type as case reference now what case you will select case type it's a another one and let's see with selecting both the both these option so when you select the single record and create on the submit you will see this is the case reference has been created with the another case type option. So when you create this um, field, you will see in the another case type by default automatically the query type of fields will get created. Let's search for a query, 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 query. Here you can see consignment detail list by get case data. Right, so get case data we have created. So what it does, let's quickly see by moving to the Dev Studio. 
go to the case type go to the consignment detail and go to the data model so if you will click the option what was the option yes case data here you can see it is of page type it's calling a data page giving the parameter let's see what is the data page here you can see the data page under which class the another one case types class what it is doing it is just doing the lookup with the parameter right now we will see what is the query option doing in the case, uh, first case and how it is configured let's quickly go to the query 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 not this one this one yes so you can see here another data page is created and it's calling the report definition and under report definition it's calling all the single level properties which we have created okay and we can also manipulate this so in real time what it does when we call the details from the consignment detail it queries the data from the another case type and gives you the data here so that's the option when we select it as a page now what happens if you select the option as a list consignment or case details to and give the option as case reference now you will give this one option and give the case type as this one now in this scenario you won't be seeing any query property or field gets created in the another one because now it will be doing the lookup with each pages and it's not querying you know a single page record through a report definition so there is no necessity of creating the query tab uh, sorry query field so let's quickly see what we have configured here refresh this is the option here you can see it's again calling the same data page but here lo load each page in this page list individually so this is the option which is selected here now if you will see the source of this data page it's doing nothing but a lookup so try uh, you know creating the use case and use this option and let me know and apart from that this is the last video of the ui series which i am uploading in the youtube and if you want to get more you know understanding of these ui related changes because there are lots of other topics which is still left so you can you know connect with me one on one so that's all for today thank you